What's up guys, this is Bull by the Fell Handed. I'm a little bit sick today, but you know what? It's not going to stop me from making new content. A lot of people have asked me, what's my take on the Huntsman? Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you know what kind of tank you can expect for your money. Now, the gun is more or less on par with your standard Tier 8 Centurion. 2.3 aim time, 0.33 accuracy, 7.5 rounds a minute, and it's going to weigh in at about 226 penetration, and the Alpha is about 230. Now, your penetration for your premium ammunition is not going to go up that much. It goes up to 258, so you only get about 32 average penetration out of that for using your premium ammunition. Now, in relation to the Tier 8 Centurion, it has, the Centurion, excuse me, the Huntsman has 100 more HP versus its Tier 8, I'm going to go ahead and say competitor. Um, the Huntsman has more horsepower. It has a little bit more hull traverse, but a little less turret traverse. And here's the kicker. It's got almost one and a half times the turret armor of the Centurion 1. Also, it has 20 more meters view range. So this has 400 meters view range versus the 380 you're going to find on your traditional Tier 8 Centurion. Other than that, this tank does play up to 10. It does not have preferential matchmaking. Um, it is British, so it's going to have some pretty stellar gun depression, as well as some good DPM. And you know, the accuracy, you cannot beat .33 accuracy. It's just, it's amazing. The only downside is, you know, you're going to end up seeing Tier 10s, and then that's a whole different ballgame. <laughs> So anyway, we are on Heilbronn, and it is a assault. The greens are assaulting the reds, and you know, first game in the tank, I just said, you know, let's go up here, let's get on a hill, let's work that gun depression, let's work the turret, pull on a lot of assist damage due to the 400 meter view range, and you know, you also have to consider a lot of tier 8s do not have 400 meters. So... I'm not necessarily saying you need to put optics on it, but I'm saying you could put optics, situational, awareness, recon. You could really have something there. You could probably mark this tank up pretty easily. Now, we're still making a lot of long-range shots here. We, we're not really taking a lot of fire, and that's kind of the downside. I wanted to show you exactly what this vehicle can do as far as armor goes. You know, sure, the gun is good. The mobility is okay, but, you know, the armor, what's the deal with the armor? And, of course, you know, we all know most tanks only have two out of three of the Holy Trinity, which is armor, mobility, and firepower. And so, you know, I'm just kind of wondering if this has two out of three, if the armor is good, because we know the gun is good. .33 accuracy is just outstanding. The turret... On paper, it looks very, very good. I just don't know how often you're going to pull bounces. And, of course, I'm sure the higher tier battles you get into, the less often you'll pull bounces. Now, if we just take a look at the visual aspect of the tank, it is very, very appealing. It's got the digital camouflage as well as a, a spider emblem on the side. Very, very pretty tank for the money. And, you know, you could even go so far as to wait until they end up going on sale. At that point, you could just pay the base cost of 9900 And it, it's a bit expensive, yes, but at the same time, you're getting a fantastic tank that looks excellent as well. You know, a lot of the tanks with the special camouflage that are Tier 8 are going to end up being a bit pricey just because they normally don't sell these a whole whole lot now I know a lot of people are saying hey they came out with all the other tanks that they were only supposed to have in the founders pack yes yes I know but at the same time y you will have that ability for that tank to be rare for at least a while not knowing what the future holds so 
Moving on, back into the game here. Uh, you know, the .33 accuracy is just such a bone in this tank. It's amazing. You know, the aim time is very workable. It, it's an excellent... I mean, this tank, you could snipe with it. Not that I'm telling you to snipe with a heavy tank, for heaven's sakes, but it is possible. The accuracy is just... I mean, it, it, it's great. For what it is, it's very, very great. And this would be a, like a tank that you could actually get into the mix there and brawl with because the penetration is so, you know, high. I mean, you know, at the same time, you know, if you're one tier down or you're high tier, yes, I would do that. But, you know, you don't want to take this thing into battle with an E100 or an E5. You're just going to get disappointed. So it's, it's all very situational, if you understand. So you just have to keep in mind what you're working with. That's why, you know, I'm a big fan of tanks with preferential matchmaking. That way, you know, you know what you're getting into. And if you're going to run 8s, you might as well run 10s. That's kind of the way I look at it. You know, that way you're going to see them eventually. You're going to see them anyway. That's just my particular take on it. So right now we're getting some good assist damage. We track that gentleman. He's getting shot. We're getting some good, good assisted damage. And you know, you just can't beat that. I mean, that's a quick way to get a mark on a vehicle is, you know, pull in some good assist damage. And you know, we've got a good number of penetrations, a couple of kills. We're making some things happen on the board. This is a, a very unique tank that is, is very tough. You know, you can't argue with one and a half times the turret armor. You just really can't. It's very, very tough, and I think that, you know, if you see one of these things in a very good haul-down position, you may just want to go ahead and switch targets, because unless you're running something very hot, or you can happen to hit the commander's hatch from a distance, you may not be able to penetrate it from a, a given angle, of course. So, guys, that's all I have for you today. 2766, 966 assist. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and we'll see you next time.